There are many factors to consider when calculating life insurance. Marital status, dependents, earnings of each spouse, how much time you have left to work, and debts. These factors change, so it would be wise to consult a trusted financial planner before making any decisions. But the main thing to keep in mind is, the amount of life insurance must be enough to replace the earnings power of the deceased for those that depend on them. Buying life insurance doesn't make sense for everyone. If you have no dependents, and enough assets to cover your debts and the cost of dying, funeral, estate lawyer's fees, etc., then insurance is an unnecessary cost for you. If you do have dependents, but you have enough assets to provide for them after your death, investments, trusts, etc., then you do not need life insurance. However, if you have dependents, especially if you are the primary provider, or significant debts that outweigh your assets, then you likely will need insurance so that your dependents are looked after if something happens to you. Let's imagine a simplified example of replacement income. Amy earns $50,000 per year and is the sole earner for her husband Bob and child, and they have no debts. If Amy passed away, the household income would go to zero. Bob would then need to find a job and take care of his child. So to replace most of her income and leave her family provided for, Amy would need about $750,000 in life insurance. That money could be invested at around 5% and drawn down monthly over 30 years so Bob could have about $45,000 per year income. Add $10,000 for funeral costs and an adjustment for inflation and Amy needs approximately $900 to $975,000 of insurance on herself. Every situation will be different. For example, Bob could find a job in a couple of years, or their child might need more money for college. These unique situations require the advice of a registered financial planner who can make sure your needs are accounted for. They can calculate an estimate of what coverage you need and can speculate on potential interest rates, taxes, and inflation.